Hi guys, this is Kimmy Yangs and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I will be firing up F1 2022 on my PlayStation 5 for the first time. And uh, this video is just going to be a quick preview of how the game loads and what the intro screens are and how the UI generally looks in comparison to F1 2021. And uh, probably I'll also do a couple of laps of Austria. That's the upcoming Grand Prix that we have this weekend. And uh, we'll be trying out the Thrustmaster SF1000 on F1 2022 itself. And also, an important thing, uh, I got myself uh, Sparko Gaming racing gloves, same racing gloves um, from US and this is called the Hyper Grip Plus. So it's going to be interesting to see how these ones uh, merge with the SF1000 while sim racing. So without further much to say, let's dive right in and fire up F1 2022 for the first time and see how things look on the latest offering by EA Sports. So here we have, you know, the usual EA Sports firing up. Uh, while this is happening, I just want to talk about these gloves. The Sparko Hyper Grip, Hyper Grip Plus are the probably the best uh, sim racing gloves. One of the best sim racing gloves that you can have. Uh, they are touch sensitive too so you can use your fingertips to press things on your <laughs> mobile as well so anyways this is the home screen uh, now all we need to do is press the options button and then we go straight into yes uh, the license agreements and everything as usual that we have with EA so going down very quickly i agree oh boy need to go all the way down the other thing i'm really interested in seeing is does the dash actually light up like how it used to have i mean how it used to happen on f1 2022 because f1 2021 because they had the dash settings aligned with 21 and it will be interesting to see if it works seamlessly with 2022 as well. So we got the gamma correction slider. I think this looks okay. So, so yes, we can go straight in and uh, voice chat, mono mix, all these things. Well, uh, uh, no. I think all that is fine. Let's see what they have done now to the home screen. If there is a change in the UI or it still Hello, carries over. Okay, Life, this is interesting. Of F122. A glimpse inside the prestigious and alluring lifestyle of Formula One. Your own personalized space where you can customize the appearance of your location view past triumphs and career highlights watch replays and customize your driver avatar and of course admire your fabulous supercar collection this is your f1 life from here you can view the supercars in your collection visit the virtual showroom admire the trophies in your cabinet as well as watch on-track highlights in the theatre. Most importantly, in customization, you can customize both your driver avatar and location, totally transforming the look. You can visit drivers that you see in your F1 life or any of your F122 friends by selecting F1 life visitors. Don't forget to give them a like if you admire their style. F1 life is your opportunity to create a style all of your own. Speaking of which, it's looking a little bare in here. Let's go and unlock your very first supercar. These are the supercars currently available. Use your supercar tokens to unlock the model of your choice. It costs one supercar token to unlock each car. To get your collection started, you've been awarded a token. Go ahead and unlock your very first supercar. Okay, so this is something like um, 
on the lines of Gran Turismo where you get your first car so you got the GT R Pro you got the DB11 Ferrari Roma uh, F8 Tributo wow that looks brilliant 720s Artura I think the Tributo is what I'll go after so that's the one I'm going to go for yes oh brilliant don't forget you can that's change the car. appearance of your driver avatar at any yeah. time from the driver yes, profile screen I do in F1 Life customization. Okay, so this is basically your um, home screen and uh, there you have the new options there. You got, there is a definite change in the UI. Like I said, there's, uh, there is a definite change in the UI and uh, you have the F1 Life here where you've got a customization, your supercard, virtual showroom, trophies, theater, F1 Life visitors, your career, that's your single player career, or you can go in for a two player career if, if you want to go co-op with your friend. Uh, then you've got the solo which basically has, oh this is interesting, you've got the Pirelli hot laps that's coming on, that's come on, uh, that's a new thing and then you've got your multiplayer and the player hub which basically is your mail let's see what do we have in our mail uh welcome to your inbox yes all those things so returning player award okay so this is basically all that we have what is the brand shop this is something new oh okay so you can just basically based on all the performance points that you gain buy stuff off the store to spice up your avatar in formula one mm. game options let's just go into all the assists and switch everything off like how we do it uh, let's go standard and then let's see what assists we are getting steering assist off braking assist i want it on off anti-lock brakes off traction control off drift assist off dynamic racing line is fine gearbox manual and suggested is fine gear assist off DRS assist off so with all that done uh, You got your podium pass stuff as well and you have all these challenges that you can actually complete anyways all this i will do at a later stage as i keep shooting content for formula one and with that being said uh, let's just do a time trial and see how things look Right, so here we are into time trial and we've got the option of F122, 21 or supercars. Let's just go and see what. Okay, so all these are locked. Unlock this vehicle. Hello. So you need to <laughs> purchase the championship content bundle, which I'm not definitely not going to take. So everything is locked. So the only car that I can use is the Tributo because that's the only car I own, which is quite a bummer but uh, let's go straight into F1 2022 and let's opt for uh, equal performance and we have that beautiful looking Ferrari to choose from and like I said let's go into Austria and see how we fare there there's definitely going to be a big change in terms of performance and uh, downforce because there's been a huge overhaul of technical regulations in Formula 1 for 2022. Oh, that's good to know that we've got our dash settings back. Let me just bring it here for you guys to see. Oh, see, wait. That's, and then, yeah, there you have it. That's our dash setting right there. Okay, so here we go 
and now hopefully I should be able to get my DRS settings and everything correct. Ah oh, crap. Anyway, like I said, this is just a just seeing how we get used to the system run offer. So guys that was just a representative lap time that I put there but uh, just wanted to show you guys how the F1 2022 game looks. The UI is quite different at least on the home screen but the other in-house menus or in-game menus are pretty similar to what it was in 2021. Well if the ecosystem is good and people love it then why change it. So yes this was the um, F1 2022 firing it, up, firing it up for the first time I will be doing a proper flying lap video of uh, Austria in time trial and uh, a couple other circuits as well if you guys uh, have enjoyed this video please like share comment subscribe and uh, if you guys are on discord and looking for a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X then I will be leaving a link in the description below this is a link to our discord server it's called the PlayStation India server, but we've got gamers from various gaming platforms out there. And we even have bots that can actually notify you of stock availability in India only. So do head out to Discord and join our server. That'd be brilliant. I'm also leaving my, my other social media links in the description below. So if you guys want to connect with me on my Instagram or my Facebook or also follow the blog that I write on Formula One and the travels associated with the world of formula one then please do follow my blog and uh, thank you guys for the support and for all the love that's been showered over uh, ever since i have started this youtube channel and hopefully i can keep bringing you some quality content and uh, yeah take care guys stay safe enjoy your gaming and god bless you all